Hello, this is me from the future. Hello, it's me from the future. The video you're about to see was recorded some time ago, and I've got an update for you after the video, so stay tuned for after the credits. Good afternoon and welcome to another YTravel.G6 Project Edition. Today, the weather is sort of nasty out there. We've been in quarantine since March 16th. I believe the date is July 23rd. I have to double check that. Um, I found out something very sad recently. My toolboxes, which you can see behind me. Um, I've been using Craftsman toolboxes for 25 years. Um, I've moved overseas to three other countries, and each time I've moved over the years, I just get rid of my toolbox, sell it or give it away, uh, because I know, hey, when I come back, I'll just get another one. Um, you can always count on Craftsman being there for you. Turns out, that's no longer the case. Um, Craftsman is no longer making red drawered toolboxes available as readily as they once were. Um, I googled it and they are 2,500 stores have closed down. They've lost 150,000 jobs. My guess is they're not long for the world. Um, so I've checked everywhere that sells Craftsman stuff. Um, Lowe's, nothing. Ace Hardware, nothing. Sears themselves, nothing. Sears Outlet, which is where I got one of these. Um, nothing. I've even thought, you know what, let me go, okay, non-brand name, brand name, let me go to, like, Harbor Freight. Uh, nothing. Let me go to, uh, Home Depot. Nothing. The red drawer toolbox seems to be a thing of the past, so, here's what makes that sad. The, uh, toolbox I own, as you can see, is right next to my track for my garage door, which is no problem, unless the kids leave my drawer open and hit it with the door several times. Garage doors in Florida have extra steel fins on them to protect against hurricanes. So they're about three and a half, four inches that stick out from the garage door to add uh, structural rigidity against hurricanes. Which then means if you leave the drawer out, anything beyond that much, you are definitely gonna get the drawer squished by the garage door, which has happened in this case several times, which has resulted in my drawer. This is after fixing it uh, as much as I could by pounding it with hammers, taking on the shape of a Pringle. The second drawer, you can see, whew, not awesome either sort of works. This drawer mostly works. And the bottom drawer, ah, it's tough, but it kind of works. So now I need to figure out a way to get the drawers to work inside the toolbox. The sliders are shot, totally shot. What was going to be a quick replacement for a couple hundred bucks is, is now a garage project. I need to come up with a way to make these work um, because I got to keep them. There's no replacing them. I've searched eBay marketplace or eBay. I've searched Facebook marketplace. Um, I've looked at just general auctions in general, the auction websites in general, nothing. I'm just out of luck. So it's, it's down to redoing them. So what I'm going to have to do is create shelves inside here that the drawers ride on. But it's a tough, tight squeeze. It's possible I might be able to just put a, a very slender plywood shelf on top of each drawer's roller from below and then just have it drag on it here. It's possible. Can't be certain. And getting this back out, I'm gonna have to drill those off because they're put in place with rivets. So, here we go. Let's see what we can do. The goal is, as we make preparations to move to Korea, the goal is to get all of my Ryobi stuff, which I've already made a custom box for. I need to get as much of that as I can to fit inside a toolbox, because this is wasted space anyway. Since it's been destroyed, I emptied it. Um, so now I want to make use of that space. 
Glad I kept it. I was gonna pull it out of there and throw it away. Glad I kept it. It's 23 and a 16th, roughly. Right here. <sighs> so close. 23 and an 8th, and I'll cut on that side more. If it could be this easy, I'd be thrilled. Got to cut off some rivets here. some wooden sides on the back that exceed the height of the regular drawer. Yeah. I can have four and a half inches, hopefully. With any luck. This is already near four and a half inches. Can that be something? Four and a quarter. Perfect. Cut this in half. hope is that these will make it stay in place as you pull it out as it tries to as gravity tries to force the front down hopefully these will engage in the top and the back and make it uh, stay in place Most of the times we move overseas, I get rid of almost all my tools. I keep just some of the basics. Uh, this time I'd like to keep everything because I've just gotten a really good collection of these Ryobi 18 volt tools. And I don't want to have to bother to replace those. Also, my oldest son will be going either military or college or whatever he does. He's a very handy guy. So I actually have two sets of tools, three sets, kind of. I have two sets of power tools. One set that I bought when I was a kid, so that when I was all grown up I wouldn't have to buy them. I always thought way ahead. So I have a whole complement of Craftsman power tools, um, the kind you plug in. Then recently the, uh, uh, Death in the Family left me with just a handful of other tools that are DeWalt, which are a super expensive brand. Um, those I don't want to get rid of just because they're expensive. Um, and those are all power tools that you plug in. For my own preference, I've been, I've been stocking up on these Ryobi 18 volt tools um, because I just really like them. I want to be able to send a certain compliment along with Noah when he grows off into real life. Don't know which one yet. Probably the DeWalt just because um, I don't need something that new and fancy and he could probably, he would love to have them, I'm sure. So unless he watches this video, he'll never know my plan. But I'll probably keep all the Craftsman stuff just because it's I've had it for years and and uh, it makes sense to give him the nicer stuff. So let's try it out. I have to. 
to go with it. Um, yeah, sort of a... It's a bowing drawer. It bows when it sees you. So I'm joined by Isaac, who's just cut the next one. And we'll get it in place over here. We're, we've made it into like a, a proper project for the day. We're gonna, we're gonna beat this thing. Even though morale is very low on account of the situation. We're gonna do the best we can with we have. Where is the ruler? The ruler, I said. Uh, I don't know. Lost. Where is it or where does it go? Where is it? Ooh. I gotta recut this one. Lost what I did. Left way too much room on the outside of that one. Our child just chafed off a wee bit. This one, it looks like. No, they also got destroyed. Somewhere up there. Do, 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 do. So that's that. We put some plywood shelves in between each drawer. It's not a great solution, but it's gonna have to do for now. I looked up the drawer sliders on searsparts.com. They are not available. So this is dead in the water. I'm just gonna have to make it last as best I can. Uh, until I'm next in a spot where I can make it work better. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube. Okay, so here's the update. I kept watching Marketplace, and I found a bunch of toolboxes. I found two of these for 50 bucks. Missed that one by 30 seconds. But I did find this one two hours away in Tampa. Uh, and it was worth going to get for me. So I drove the two hours to go get it. And all I really wanted was the bottom. So I bought the bottom and kept it for myself. And with it came this top box, which I gave to Noah so that he could have his first toolbox and get all his stuff ready to go in storage so that we can go to Korea. Now, I have been able to replace the one that Isaac and I sort of fixed with one that has working drawers. And I can get all of my Ryobi stuff and my nail guns. And it has, and this is the first time in my whole life I've had this, a nice slender hammer drawer. Very exciting for me. So good news, uh, we had a positive outcome after all. The box that was down there that Isaac and I sort of uh, fixed the best we could, we actually set that at the curb and uh, a neighbor came and took it. Um, I'm guessing not for scrap because there was some other metal there and it was the only thing that went. Uh, that evening. So that's the update. I'm good to go now and get all my stuff stored correctly uh, for our, our move overseas. Thinking I'm not getting this out of here without a struggle. Give it a try. Got it though. I'm gonna go put it at the side of the road. Neighbors might want it. It's more than likely I will be breaking that apart and putting it in the garbage. Hi, Penny. All right, now. Okay, look. I I hate getting rid of that. I hate it because I hate having a broken toolbox. Because I hate that craftsmen's going out of business. Or at least losing its shimmer. Not even a glimmer? Shimmer? Life seems to be out of the out of mix. Yeah, I think I hate this. I think I really hate it. I just hate it. It's not awesome. I hate this setup. I totally hate it. I have to remind myself, though, that I'm getting ready to move overseas, so what it looks like in here is not super important. 